Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the box office numbers. That's right, it is Sunday, which means we are going to report all the money and all the moolah that went into the movie theaters this week. Um, today, surprisingly, at number one is Tomorrowland. And why I say surprising is because I didn't know if this movie was going to be able to surpass Pitch Perfect, which had a huge opening this weekend and surpassed $100 million on Saturday. But it in fact did, opening up with 32.1 million. Now, if anyone knows Disney and anyone knows really box office, that's not super impressive. And I'm sure it's a little bit underwhelming um, for that movie. But I will say what is impressive is they made $725,000 of that just on open Thursday night screenings alone, which I believe started at 8 p.m. I know at one point it was midnight premieres, then we do 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, now we do all the way up to 7, 8 o'clock premieres, which is just ridiculous. You might as well just release it on a Thursday, and then before you know it, we'll be doing Wednesday midnight premieres, so whatever. Nonetheless, good amount of money for this movie, though, though I believe the budget was actually pretty more expensive uh, from Disney. Obviously, I reviewed that film, which you can find on our YouTube page below, and if you want to always read the full reports, uh, every number for every movie, make sure to go to ChasingCinema.com. You hit that news button, you'll find this video and be able to scroll down below and find it. Pitch Perfect 2 wasn't far behind, like I said, I was expecting it not to be Pitch Perfect 2, as that movie ranked in $30.3 million. So by a mere $2 million, which might sound like a lot to a lot of people, um, Pitch Perfect came in second place. As I said on Saturday, it reached over its $100 million goal, which is pretty impressive in the fact that the first Pitch Perfect only made $65 million in total. So that again is quite impressive, but the one disappointing thing and the one thing that kind of has kept my focus is the fact that the movie that I absolutely loved and thought was completely unreal, and that is Mad Max Fury Road, didn't make that impressive. Uh, but the grand total for Mad Max now is at $87.8 million, which isn't the worst number to have, uh, but it is a bit underwhelming. Mad Max earned $23.8 million this weekend at the box office, and I feel like it's gonna consistently stay there because some people um, that I've spoken to just felt that movie was too out there didn't really appeal to them but the more and more people are saying my god you need to see Mad Max what are you wasting your life doing they're gonna keep going to see this movie and it's gonna hopefully stay consistently at 20 million 15 million 17 million as it will continue to grow and be very very successful um, Overall, the box office number is not too surprising uh, Poltergeist also made an appearance on the box office top five, but Nothing, nothing super crazy. I'm sure we're going to see a big box office jump in the upcoming week when The Rock saves California in San Andreas. Well, at least we hope he can save California in that upcoming film. I think that's going to be a really good early blockbuster that a lot of people are going to be happy for. And we will have that review available to you next week. So make sure to tune in. Uh, guys, what are your thoughts on the box office? Were they surprising? And did you think Pitch Perfect was going to inch it out Tomorrowland? Let me know down here in the comment section below. Uh, we could always make this conversation more intimate if you follow me on and Chasing Cinema on our social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. You could tweet us, post us, like us, favorite us, retweet us, Instagram, whatever you do on Instagram, like and comment, whatever it may be. But make sure to like and favorite this video to show your support for everything we do here at ChasingCinema.com. And most importantly, above all, make sure to hit that subscribe button because each day, five times a day, no matter no matter here nor there, if I'm in a car driving, if I'm in a car not driving, I am bringing you these videos talking about what's going on in the world of motion picture. So thank you for being a part of that. But make sure you check out all the movie reviews, the trailer reviews, the image reviews. Today we talked about the upcoming Ridley Scott film The Martian. We talked about um, the movie of the week. We did a podcast and so much more, all available for you at ChasingCinema.com under the news button which you can find all the reports and these videos and of course the YouTube channel so hit subscribe thank you guys so much for tuning in my name is Jacob Toronto and please continue chasing cinema